Well, today, Mennonites from across Lancaster County held a procession and worship service outside of Pennsylvania Congressman Lloyd Smucker's office calling for a ceasefire in the Israel Hamas war. And News 8 was on hand to speak with the group running the event, and they explained the heart of what it is they want. For, for me, this is not political. I don't want my friends in Gaza to be bombed. It was an afternoon filled with passionate pleas outside of Congressman Lloyd Smucker's office. I just make an appeal uh, to represent Smucker to use his heart. Calling on the congressman to send aid, not bombs, to Gaza. People have lost their homes, lost family members, and are on the verge of famine. <laughs> The group is calling for a permanent ceasefire after the U.S. voted to defund the United Nations Relief and Works Agency through 2025 and the latest government funding bill. It's a heartbreaking uh, situation. Over the last several years, Michael George, who was a part of the group Mennonite Action, has helped form Mennonite groups in Gaza and has been talking with groups on the ground. All three of the groups that we have a relationship, they're, they have been com completely, completely destroyed. I have, you know, friends who are, you know, sheltering in, in homes, hoping not to be bombed. It's tough for everyone on, on any, any side of this conflict, but the friends that uh, I have there, yeah, I can't, I can't not speak out on their behalf or, you know, what kind of friend would I be? George says he understands the issues in history in the Middle East is complex, but ultimately wants this. Both sides need to look at each other as human beings um, and not people to be defeated or to to kick out of an area. And today's protest is a part of a joint effort of more than a thousand Mennonites across the United States and Canada.